<laughs> oh, it's the greatest night ever. Are you happy with the turnout? I am. I'm happy with everything so far. Everything's been going really, really great. Uh, better than I could have thought it could have been, even. Um, yeah, it's going really well. Great. Despite the weather, it's like 29 degrees it's outside. It's freezing cold, but yeah, it seems like a really nice atmosphere. How did you get involved with the Hollywood Film Festival? Well, I, uh, I started this festival with a uh, group of my friends who helped me out with another festival um, that I don't, I'm not going to name names, but <laughs> it was... Are it, they secret, secret people? <laughs> no, it was another festival that just okay. was very poorly managed, Ooh. and I was kind of uh, left with a lot of responsibility with nothing to back it up, and it ended up being a huge disaster last year. And I pulled in a lot of my friends to help me out. Um, and they approached me individually and said, Mike, this, this sucks. We should start our own festival. Like, you should start a festival. I want to help you with, with your own thing. If you want something done right, do it yourself. Yeah, and that was, uh, that was about a year ago okay. around this time. Um, so we got the ball rolling and, you know, got more of our friends involved um, and got organized. And here we are, the first festival, a year later. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. How did the name Yollywood uh, about. Can you tell me about that? <laughs> well, it, it came about, you know, I, I think maybe I heard it somewhere. Maybe maybe it was in my subconscious. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, I said it to um, Daniel Stenzlin, who's our, uh, our, my co-director. Um, he, he brought it up that I said that to him one time, and I didn't remember saying that to him. Um, but then he said, I think that would be a great name for festival, because, you know, it's it's just a really like tongue in cheek kind of name for what's going on here now, and uh, very southern. Yeah, and a lot of <laughs> it's kind of like turning that around because it originally was thrown around as sort of like a negative connotation, like that Atlanta is now just like a farm for labor and whatever, just based on the tax incentives that people have, which is in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to make sure that filmmakers in Georgia and in the South had a venue and a reason to keep producing independent films right. uh, rather than just diving into the TV and movie tornado um, that people can really get sucked into just becoming labor instead of producing. Producing. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, which is kind of the whole reason for Yollywood, why, why we started it um, and made it specifically for Southern filmmakers. Because we are only open for submissions to filmmakers from Georgia and its neighboring states gotcha. at this point. We, we have talked about expanding to more states in the South uh, in the coming years. But a big reason for that um, this year was that having it more centralized and localized makes it easier for all the filmmakers who are involved to attend. And, right. um, takes a lot less responsibility off of us for putting them up and things like that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, because <laughs> as it's starting out a festival, you know, we're basically on a shoestring budget. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, but we've had some really good momentum, so I feel like in the coming years we'll be able to expand and uh, offer even more to our, our filmmakers. That's great. What are some of the uh, challenges you face? <laughs> well, it's, it's actually been a lot of fun. Like the whole year, we, um, you know, we, we struggled with how are we going to get our name out there to right. filmmakers. How yeah. will people know about publicity? It? Yeah, that's like yeah. you know that's a huge hurdle um, for a new festival, um, especially with limited budget. So we uh, we started doing these uh, pop ups. We call them just these uh, screening events. Uh, throughout the year. Originally we were going to do them every month, but it turned into more kind of like every other month, um, which really helped get the word out. Like people were excited about being a part of that. Um, so that, 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 you know, worked very well. Um, yeah, Michelle, our, uh, our marketing director, that was her idea. I think it was very successful. Great idea, yeah. And yeah, it's, it's, you know, it still is a struggle, though. You know, I didn't get as many um, submissions as I, I might have hoped uh, at the beginning. But, you know, I, I feel like we got enough to have a very well-rounded and, uh, you know, good selections that I can really stand by. Certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it's, you know, I think it's only going to get better. No, 
know you better than me. Yeah. <laughs> the sky's the limit. Uh, so uh, my last question is just, do you want to tell us a little bit more about yourself and your involvement with the film, Atlanta film industry in general? Sure. Or anything that you share? Um, yeah, I, uh, I've kind of been... I've been toying with the idea of joining the union and being a part of the Ooh, whole machine. Union. Doing, doing, uh, machine. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's what it is. It's a I very guess it well can be oiled seen that machine. Way, for uh, sure, yes. You know, there's a lot of. I do a lot of um, production work where I can, like freelancing and you know, grip work or whatever. I recently um, I uh, was the assistant director for the first time on a feature last month. Uh, it should be coming out in the spring. Uh, it's a monster movie that it was a lot of fun. That monster movie is really fun. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it was, that was a really great experience, and um, I, I hope to do more of that type of production project. Assistant director? And mm -hmm. avoid having to get sucked into the, uh, <laughs> the, the machine. The machine. <laughs> oh, this sounds like I hate it, but it's, it's a good thing. It's a beautiful machine. Yeah, it's it a good thing. It's very good. It's good for our film economy. Yes, for sure. So, um, Indeed. And, you know, hopefully I can still get a piece of that. Piece of the pie. <laughs> That's good stuff. Uh, I also I made a documentary film um, in 2012. Oh, you produced it yourself? I, I did. I Well, I was the cinematographer on it. Uh, okay. But I also did help uh, with the fundraising and stuff like that. Uh, we went to Kenya for three months. And uh, shot a documentary about a group of musicians there. Uh, it's called Sounds Mara Maso. Okay. Um, Mara Maso. Which stands for Man Rays Man Society. Like the belief system that these guys live by. It's very macho. It's no, no. It's very man, <laughs> man raising man. Like lift up your brother because like oh, I see. you know one. If, if that's the only way that that we can really thrive is if people help each other out. Each other. Brotherhood. What about sisterhood, though? Come on. Well, it's, it's Kenya, you know? <laughs> Kenya. Okay, I get it. It okay. is pretty much. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds really interesting. Um, what's it called again? Mara Maso. <laughs> okay. And um, do you have a, a company or a website or any way we can follow you on? Well, mostly media? just just this one, the important one. Hollywood. Yeah,